Think about the last time you were at a family gathering or with friends and you wanted to order something delivered to you for dinner. There's always that one person who says, what are the reviews like? You know, what evidence do we have that this, this place is supposed to be good or not? And there's that other person that says, yeah, whatever, just get something. And then there's this other person that says, I have a crazy idea. I heard about this other place that just opened up. Now, all these different behaviors can be put into different buckets. Let's call these buckets your knee-jerk reaction bucket. And so if you know what those buckets look like and you can sort of anticipate, expect what one's knee-jerk reaction would be like, couldn't you use that to communicate to them better? So for example, if you know that there is one person who's going to probably take 20 minutes until you finally decide as a group what to order for dinner, and you say, you know what, I heard five friends of mine talk to me about this place, the reviews are 4.8 out of five, how about we order from here? You're probably going to get there faster than telling them, here's this new place we've never ordered from before, what do you think about ordering tonight? So this is a way that you can hack the way you communicate by understanding the body of research that points to four to five unique buckets of our, let's call it knee-jerk reaction, and how we can use that information to hack the way we communicate.